Hello my lovely people and welcome to your weekend messages for the 8th and 9th of June and if you're new to my channel welcome and for those of you returning thank you for coming back. So what have we got this weekend? It's an interesting energy flow. When I looked at the cards as they were coming out I was like oh hello what's going on here then? So before I show you the cards I want to explain the energy for June is very much and you will have seen this in your June readings and in the weeklies we're shifting up we're, we're we're getting promoted in our energy in our vibration we're feeling more empowered we're feeling more creative we're wanting to move forward into a better space now for some of you not all of you and this is a general read so if it doesn't resonate don't worry about it it's absolutely fine but this energy is for some of you bringing up doubts and fears that little voice in there that says now nah, you're going to always get what you've always got because that's what you've always got and this doubt is kind of trying to come up now what we don't want to do is squash it ignore it poo poo it and just go oh be quiet because what we're doing then is resisting and we're denying and then we can't transmute it transform it lift out of it so let's show you the cards and we'll talk it through okay so your overall energy, my darling, is this door to value. See all the money in the cards here. This is all about, do you value yourself? Do you know your worth? Now, as we look at these cards, we've got three from the uh, the new tarot cards I'm using at the moment. This is from um, Chiro Marchetti. Both of these are. This is the Tarot of Dreams. This is the Gilded Tarot. And you can see that we've got a couple of so-called negative energies here the seven of wands the defensive energy defending my position standing up for myself having to do a little bit of arguing we've got the devil here and we've got strength the message from the angels is also strength okay so as i'm asking about well, what's all this about then it's clearly all about value now when we're looking at this defensiveness as I'm asking about this when these cards came out, what was coming through, as I said at the beginning, was this sense of, oh yeah, you know, I'm, I'm starting to believe that I can achieve my dreams and my goals. I'm starting to believe that I'm ready and I'm worthy. But those little doubts, this is what you're arguing with, okay? This is what you're defending yourself against. Those doubts coming up going, ah oh, yeah, but you're not worth anything really. Now, this is what we're wanting to say, yes, I am, I'm ready, I'm an awesome person and I've come so far and I've learned so much and I can absolutely have my happy ever after because the clarifier is the Ten of Cups here. Now, the Ten of Cups is an energy of I've got it all. I've got a lovely home, I've got love, I've got security, I've got enough money, I've got my family, I've got everything that I need. Now, this this is where the universe is wanting to move you forward to this year. You know, they're really pushing you into, you can have it all. You absolutely can. Now, whatever all means to you, it's not about the posh house and the, you know, the absolute flow of riches. It's about that sense of inner peace, inner security, knowing who you are, knowing your worth, knowing your value. Now, if we look at this card in a little bit more detail, you'll see the doorway there and in front of the doorway is all this money. And beyond the doorway, there are flowers, there's openness and it's saying, look, the door is open to you now, but you have to know your worth. You have to know your value. And this is where you are really trying to come into this energy of I am worthy, I am deserving, I am. Using the I am presence, using your innate God force within you, linking in with the universe and co-creating your dreams, your future of what you want. So as those doubts come up and say, me, me, nothing's going to change. Just be saying to them, absolutely, because I've grown into who I am and I am worthy. Now, the devil is coming in here, which is the card that's signifying feeling trapped, feeling stuck, feeling, you know, caged here. Okay. 
and do you see he's got the fool's hat on all right it's like i feel foolish i feel disempowered i feel the devil has power over me now why is the devil it's negative energy it's fears and doubts and blocks and that energy is what is rising up within you now this is where what i said at the beginning don't poo poo them or ignore them allow them to come up and then reassure them allow these doubts that want to come up allow them coming up and as they come up step into the star energy the star energy predominantly is about hopes dreams aspirations knowing your worth knowing you're amazing believing in yourself as you step into that energy this opens well the cage is already open and then you can step out and you're no longer being held hostage by those doubts and fears you know who you are now we've got the strength card coming in here to help you we had this for next week so this energy of strength is very much around you and clearly you know repeated by the angels this sort of truth to help you feel strong and empowered so that you can manage these doubts coming up now the strength is rooted down by the hanging man and the energy here of the hanging man is about looking at things from a different perspective why do I feel that I'm not worthy allowing yourself to look at it from upside down right go back to the past you know is it because as a child I was shushed I was told to be quiet I felt invisible I felt unimportant in which case step out of that now that was then this is now I am important I am valued I am ready to take my power now the other thing about looking at the hanging man is to be able to surrender to let go and let God, to surrender into your strengths, to surrender these doubts and fears coming up and saying, yeah, let them just play out. And as they play out, you know, all of those ifs and buts and maybes and any, you know, anything that's saying I'm not worthy, I have no value, allow them to come up and then use your strengths, your inner strengths and this star card of balance to heal them. The star is also a healing card. It's allowing those to heal. It's allowing those doubts and fears to be transmuted, to say, yes, I completely agree. I used to not know my value. I used to always put everybody else first and think they're more important than me. And now I'm not doing that anymore. I'm holding my position. I am holding my position of my worthiness that I deserve all good things so it's a really interesting energy this weekend there's going to be stuff coming up for many of you that's going to make you question your worth um, this could be to do with other people saying help me with this help me with that help me with the other and you're putting their needs first now there's nothing wrong with helping if you have it to give but if you are one of these people that are constantly saying yes even when you don't have it to give you're not valuing yourself if you're working all weekend for nothing you're not valuing yourself if you're working all weekend for nothing for the future then you're valuing yourself. You're saying, this will come back to me in a different way. But if you're just saying, well, yeah, you know, I was talking to a friend recently who struggles to charge for her services of readings and healings. And no, you're not valuing yourself. You're not valuing the energy. You're not valuing your time. You're not valuing your um, your gifts, okay? So everything this weekend is to shift you into this new sense of value and for those of you who already value yourself fantastic it's asking you to value yourself a little bit more now what else do i want to say mm, i want to just stay with the hanging man at the moment i put a picture up on my community page in the last week about surrender and somebody made a comment about well surrendering no you're just giving in you're just letting them get away with it that's not what we're talking about when we're saying surrender what we're talking about here with surrender is I am surrendering my doubts and fears to the universe to the divine I I just let go and I'm just going to surrender all of those negative thoughts up to the divine over to the angels 
and just transmuting them, not denying them, but handing them over. Let go and let God. That is the energy of surrender. And when we step out of the way, we are open to receiving the strengths, the guidance, the information, the knowledge that the universe wants to help us to have when we get out of our own way. It's when we're saying, I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. It's like, yeah, but you don't need to do it on your own. The universe has your back. Let them in. Surrender and let them in. And as you do that, it brings you into your strengths. It is, there is a power here, a strength within you that you have to be able to really step into knowing your value, my darlings. All right, quite an intense message, but it's to shift you forward, ready for the next week, ready for the next month, and as we're going into the rest of this year. This weekend, you may find things coming up for you that are making you question your value, and you're being asked to hold your position. All right, my loves, I hope that helps, and I'll see you next week for the weeklies. You take care, lots of love. Bye-bye.